And the final part of the system up here is a, uh, a grow lamp. Um, the only thing special about a grow lamp is that it emits um, light of a wavelength that is particularly helpful to plants. Um, so you can use any, any bright uh, fluorescent light or something as a grow lamp. Um, but the ones specifically sold as grow bulbs have a kind of purple tinge and that's because I guess it's the blue and, wet and red wavelengths that, that plants absorb the most of. So it's just a way to, to kind of target um, plant growth um, with the light. Um, and that's about it. I mean really all, all I should have to add to this system is um, fish food, occasionally water, and then of course light. And because it's next to a window that gets indirect sunlight, I'm hoping this small bulb will be, will be enough. Uh, it's on a timer to run about 15 hours a day. Um, so we'll see if that works. It seemed to be okay for my plants, although that could be one of the reasons they didn't grow so well is I didn't have enough light for them. But we'll see. Um, in case you're wondering, what I have planted here is a uh, mint right here. This one's pretty large. Um, now this stuff is not did not grow from seed in this bed. I just actually put it in today, so they may all die, and, we'll, and I may have to start over from seed. But um, all this stuff was originally in dirt, and then I just filtered or cleaned off the dirt from the roots, and then kind of fished them into the grow medium. But again, it's mint uh, chives. Cilantro, oregano, basil, parsley, sage, thyme, and rosemary is what I have planted now. And I left a little room right here so that I can plant a couple more things if I decide to. Um, if it turns out that some of the, or all of these things die, I will have to buy some um, um, seed pods or that uh, are basically just kind of a spongy material that you can put seeds in. And it will provide, provide the support for the the plant as it as it starts, um, but I'm hoping I won't need that. I'm hoping they got enough of a start in, in the dirt pots that it'll work out. So we will see. But yeah, that's about all. Um, admittedly, these systems, at least in, at this scale, uh, don't. It won't pay for itself. I mean, the amount of time and, and money I spent on the system will not um, <laughs> will not be made up for by the herb. Pro, uh, crop that I get, but it was mainly just a fun experience, and if this works out and I get a house someday, then I might expand the system into something with, uh, you know, with um, fish for food, like tilapia, and a much more um, significant garden with vegetables and peppers and stuff. So that's uh, my apartment aquaponics system, um, and uh, I'll try to make another video with an update um, if everything works out and or if it doesn't <laughs> and, and what I think went wrong. One final comment about the hydroton um, and this was not something I was prepared for originally but it's uh, very very powder or very dusty when you first get it so if you choose to use hydroton as a grow medium which I've heard a lot of good things about it but one thing just to keep in mind is that out of the, ba out of the bag it's extremely dusty and so you're not going to want to put it into the grow bed um, with your whole system initially. You want, you're going to want to have to uh, to wash it out quite a bit first. So, since I didn't know that, I did dump it in here initially by you know without cleaning it off, and it made everything extremely murky, and the pump started making noise, and it was really bad. So I wound up. Uh, just taking the whole top part and opening up the drain and I ran I don't know how many gallons, probably 50 gallons of fresh water through it um, to clean it out and even after that it was still coloring the water somewhat but that was at least enough to get it to where um, it's gotten pretty clean and there's still certainly some dust um, I mean all over the place but it's mostly settled to the bottom so as long as I don't stir things up too much, um, it should be it should be okay, um, and keep everything fairly clean. But that's just something to keep in mind if you use hydroton or really probably any grow medium you use. If it's kind of a clay-based product, um, you're gonna want to make sure you rinse everything first before adding it in. Um, that'll make make everything a lot easier. Um, and uh, just to show you, here is some uh, collected dust as you can see 
So uh, anyway, if I do too much and stir that up, it'll really make the, the water nasty, but as long as I don't do that, it should be okay. So anyway, just something to keep in mind, um, and good luck with whatever projects you have.